The death of a giraffe out at the Tulsa Zoo has prompted a criminal investigation by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The giraffe's neck was broken sometime during the trip to Tulsa from another zoo, and the investigation might be centered on the trucking company, company that delivered that animal. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan is out at the zoo tonight with more, Emery. Well, Scott, the revelation of the criminal probe came out of the city investigation into what happened to these two giraffes. One died of a broken neck, the other died of hypothermia, and that case is what the city council was talking about today. The giraffe who came to Tulsa with a broken neck did not survive an examination. The USDA is conducting a criminal probe into that incident, possibly of the company that delivered the animal. The USDA is very careful not to say who is being criminally investigated. Reading between the lines, uh, my guess is the only person who, whose investigation might be jeopardized would be the transportation company that delivered the giraffe to us. The city council continues to have questions about how the zoo allowed a giraffe to die of hypothermia, a death that led to a $5,000 fine against the city last week. A government review blamed the death on both a poor shelter for the giraffes and zoo staff who didn't follow orders on how to keep the giraffe warm. Zoo veterinarian Dr. Kay Backus recommended large gas-fired heaters, but she didn't get them. There were some staff concerns of the noise that those would cause would, would be frightening, and they moved in some smaller electric heaters that were insufficient. After a delay of several hours getting the better heaters in place, the giraffe died. Those recommendations were not followed until it was too late. Uh, I understand that the personnel involved in that breakdown of the chain of command have been disciplined and action has been taken, and hopefully that won't happen again. The zoo plans to improve the giraffe barn with better insulation and heating, but for now, still has a 25-year-old building that cannot keep animals warm during extreme cold. But we have an 80-year-old facility that has had inadequate funding, not just for a year, but a couple of decades. Now, the new giraffe barn will have a heated floor. In fact, the existing one has a heated floor. It just doesn't work and has not worked, according to city staff, since the day that building opened 25 years ago. Emory Bryan, the News on 6.